Well, a knuckleball is, is antithetical to any other conventional pitch in the sense that conventional pitching is meant to impart spin onto the baseball um, in order to manipulate the break. You know, a slider from a right-hander goes down and away from a right-hander. A sinker from a right-hander spins in a way where it goes down and into a right-hander. So you're always trying to impart different kinds of spin on the baseball to make it move. Well, a knuckleball is different than that in the sense that um, you're trying to subtract spin completely. And so a perfect knuckleball for me will rotate about a quarter of a revolution from the time it leaves my hand till the time it gets to the plate. And if I've, if I've done, you know, if I've thrown a hundred of those in a game, we're probably on the winning side. Learning something is all about repetition. Uh, mm -hmm. How many pitches or how many days or oh, months mercy. or years? Uh, yeah, I, you know, I wish I, wish I would have kept track of how many pitches I, I threw against a cinder block wall somewhere trying to trying to learn the mechanic, the grip, the way it feels as it leaves your hand, the pressure you need to put on, you know, your forefinger and your fingernails. And I mean, I just, it took so many repetitions and I, and I stunk for, for a while with it, you know. I mean, I just, I, I was just grinding it out, hoping that I would get to that point where it would, where I would be able to turn the corner. Um, and about after, after probably about two and a half years, uh, I started to really feel comfortable with it and start having some success with it. Worth the wait. It has been worth the wait. It has been worth the wait. But it, it uh, I always held on to the hope. You know, it was dark. It was a dark period for a little while for me because uh, I was an older guy trying to learn this new thing and not making much money and, and trying to figure it all out, you know. So using the ball, uh, show me the grip uh, and the mechanics involved and the release. Okay, so we call this the horseshoe of the baseball for obvious reasons. You just take the fingernail, your fin I take my fingernail and my pointer finger and my middle finger and I dig it into the leather right behind the seam. So it looks a little bit like that and I keep my thumb off the seam on the side so it doesn't want to spin. I like it when it comes out, it, it just comes out, um, you know, very smoothly. And if I'm grabbing hold of a seam, um, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to want to catch and spin it a little bit. So I stay off the seams for me. I keep my wrists um, locked at, at as close to a 90 degree angle as I can. And then when I throw it, I just kind of bring my hand forward just a little bit and I release it at the opportune moment. So, um, but that opportune moment has taken a long time to figure out where that, when that is, you know.